the Piano Man Bakery, one of the most interesting new bakeries in Delhi. Uh, one of the reasons that it is one of the most interesting new bakeries is the chef. Uh, she's been cooking since the age of nine. She loves food and that sort of translates in what she is turning out. So over to Ruchira. Ruchira, please tell us a bit about the Piano Man Bakery. So Arjun, I actually took over an existing brand which is called Hikori and then we launched it as the Piano Man Bakery. Uh, and um, so there was two aspects to the Piano Man Bakery. One was that we wanted to tie it up with the jazz club and dirty apron. So I introduced one line which we call the boost cake, which is all about having you know, as much alcohol as you can in your desserts. And the other where I was a little bit more true to myself, uh, which is the more gluten-free uh, celiac friendly line that I've launched. So yes, so they're both work in progress, but I'm very excited and I'm right here. I think thank you for doing this because me, myself, as well, you know, I'm gluten and dairy intolerant. And this is one of the few places one can actually come and get desserts or breads. And very few places make that. Yes. So thank you for doing that. And I think a lot of people out there. Hello, Dad. I think Jun, you were one of my inspirations for the Pukasha, which is, which is dairy free and gluten free. And I, I'm, I can't wait for you to try it because I think it tastes really good. Because that was another thing that I was very concerned about. It shouldn't taste like cardboard or crap. It really should taste good. So, yeah, so I'm really hoping. I'm going to actually take you through three of my boost cake lines. This is the chocolate whiskey cake, which is baked with whiskey, soaked in whiskey, and the ganache also has whiskey, so there's a lot of whiskey in that. Then there's the rum and raisin cheesecake, which has raisins which have been soaked in um, rum, old, old monk specifically. Um, we also have the lime tequila margarita cake, which I call, which is lemon and lots of tequila and a sprinkling of uh, sea salt, which is really nice. Then, this is one of my most favorite cakes. This is a gluten-free chocolate cake, actually. It's not dairy-free, unfortunately. But it is a flourless fudge cake, and it's the most decadent cake you've ever eaten. And then when it comes to breads, I'm doing really nice breads. We're doing focaccia, we're doing a multi-seed uh, uh, whole wheat bread. We're also doing a cereal bread. But in the gluten-free range, I have the uh, a gluten-free sandwich bread, which toasts like a dream. And I also have the gluten-free, dairy-free focaccia, which is really nice, very moist, got lots of air bubbles. One of my favorite things that I have made in a really long time. We're also doing uh, really nice cookies. We've got these Nutella stuffed cookies. We're doing peanut butter. I'm also doing in-house granola brands. I'm doing two of them. This is a honey paste, double chocolate cranberry granola, and we do a mixed seed jaggery granola. I think they're perfect for children, no processed sugar, and really, really amazing. So yeah, so that's basically where we, what we're doing with the bakery and we've got a long way to go. We are also, I don't know whether you're interested, but we do bacon jams. And they're like fab, I should put them out, we put them out with gluten-free crackers. We do bacon jam, we do a skinny chocolate sauce which has no processed sugar. And then we do things which have a lot of processed sugar. So we, we're like a balance between both the healthy and the not so healthy stuff. If you like this video, do like and share. And if you'd like to see more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel.